In today's video, we are going to have a look how to install Windows 11 in virtual machine on MacBook M1, M2 or M3 series. As a first step, we need to download Windows 11 in ARM architecture. To do so, we can navigate to Microsoft Windows Insider program ARM64 website. I will link the full URL for easy of navigation down below in the description of this video. On this page, you need to sign in with existing Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you need to register because you need to become a member of Windows Insider program to be able to download the necessary image. Once you are logged in, you can select the Windows Insider Preview uh, Channel Edition, which will be in this case Canary for Windows 11 image and you will need to confirm the language of the image which will be in this case English and start the download process. The download process will take a while depending on your internet connectivity as this file is quite uh, big. It has 10, around 10 gigabytes size. Now, if you don't already have UTM software on your MacBook that is used for virtualizing or emulating various operating systems, we need to first download it from their official website. To get the latest version of UTM software, we navigate to mac.getutm.app website. The full URL of the website will be linked down below in the description. This application is basically a GUI version of Quemu, which is open source virtualization platform. Upon download, you can drag and drop the application into the applications folder and open it. Now we are ready to install Windows 11 operating system in virtual machine on your MacBook M series device. So in the UTM software, let's click create a new virtual machine, select virtualize option, then select Windows. Then click on import VHDX image and locate previously downloaded Windows 11 ARM image. All other default options uh, keep enabled. Then modify memory and CPU resources that will be allocated to this virtual machine and specifying 8 GB of memory and 4 CPU cores. Then you can provide the name of the virtual machine to your liking and click save. With this we are ready to start the Windows 11 installation process. Today we are going to install Windows 11 operating system with local administrators credentials, meaning we are not going to associate our Microsoft account with this Windows operating system. To be able to do so, we need to perform additional steps because by default Windows 11 installer will force you to create operating system with your Microsoft account. So to bypass those requirements, let's press together following keystrokes Fn, Shift and F10. The Windows command line will open up where you type OOBE backslash bypass NRO and press enter. Machine will at this point reboot. With this option, we will be able to disable internet requirements during the installation process, which will allow us to install operating system with local administrator credentials. When the virtual machine reboots, you can follow the regular Windows 11 installation steps. But before you continue, make sure that the main operating system on your Mac OS you disable the internet connectivity. So if you are connected through the Wi-Fi, disable the Wi-Fi connection. If you are connected through Ethernet, unplug the internet cable. So now the, with the disabled internet connectivity, the installation process can start. Select the, the right country or reg region where the 
operating system or virtual machine is located, confirm the keyboard layout based on your preference. And at the following screen, you will get new option that is by default hidden and that we unlocked, we previously entered command in the command line pro prompt, which is I don't have internet option. So click, click on this option and then review uh, the license agreement and accept it. Now you will be able to specify the local administrator username and password. Before continuing, you need to select the three questions and answers for security reasons in case your account gets locked so that you can perform the recovery. Then uh, you need to check the privacy settings for your device. Uh, for example, if you will be sharing the location of this virtual machine with Microsoft and so on and so forth. Uh, my personal preference is to disable all options on this screen. And now the Windows installation will start. This will take a couple of minutes, uh, upon which the machine will log in into the operating system. So before you start using your virtual machine, I recommend you to check two settings, that you are able to change the resolution of the virtual machine and that your Ethernet or network card is detected, so the driver is installed so that you can browse the internet from the virtual machine itself. So navigate to the settings, scroll down to display options, and you see in my case display resolution cannot be changed, the options are grayed out. Also, if I go under network connections, I see that there is no network car detected, meaning it doesn't have likely driver installed, which can be confirmed from the device or computer management manage, manager. You see, the Ethernet controller indeed is not installed. So to fix both, both of the issues, we need to install Windows Guest Tools. Upon installing the Windows Guest Tools, the virtual machine will restart. Then you can log in with the previously specified credentials during the installation process. And you see that the resolution actually adjusted by its own and the network card is detected and connected to the internet. Uh, if the internet is not available, you need to make sure that you re-enabled your main networking connection, internet connection, on your MacBook device, either for Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable that we previously disconnected during the installation process. And that's, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one.